G'day fellas, Aussie Senpai here. Just doing a quick demonstration video for my new mod pack. Well, it's actually, I've got two mod packs, but this one is based on uh, my hex pack. This one's a light version though. It's better for lower end systems. And um, there's a bit of music. Sorry for the delay there, it was a bit, a bit slow on the uptake. But um, yeah, this is my Hex Light pack. It has, well, it usually has a hundred mods, but I've added two, two mods. Um, yeah. But you can download this mod pack. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below. So yeah, you can download it and give it a try yourself. Um, I do ask, if you are going to do videos on it, leave your channel name in the um, comments below and I'll come check it out. See what, um, see how you go with it and all that. But yeah, I just thought I'd do like a demonstration video since I did one, I did a setup guide for the, the, the normal hex pack. So I thought, I don't really need to do a setup guide for this one, but I'll do a demonstration of the actual gameplay and how it differs a little bit. So we'll be seeing more gameplay in this rather than the setup. So first off, uh, I'm using, well obviously you can see here, I'm using a texture pack. Doki Craft Dwarven is one of my favorite texture packs. It gives it a very um, medieval look. Slightly on the dwarven side, obviously. But yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. We gotta make. I actually made a new world already. Got one ready to go. Just for previewing purposes. I haven't really done anything on it. It's kind of just set up. It saves me my um computer. My computer struggles a lot when it's loading when I'm recording, so I went ahead and made the world already. So we're gonna jump in have a little look-see and yeah see some stuff so hopefully if you guys like the hex hex it or hex reloaded which is more of an upgraded version you're definitely going to like this pack and if your system is not like really powerful um, this one is more suited for you come on load load world there we go so as you can see the um, texture pack looks quite nice. I was just busy um, recording, uh, not recording, <laughs> um, digging out a, uh, a farm. I was just doing a test recording before. Um, yeah, but here we are in Hex Light Pack. It's looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna build a base up in the hill up there. Should be fun. Now I'm I'm playing in survival, but the way I've got this set up, if I type in an item and say click on it, it'll give me the items. I'm, I actually loaded the world in creative mode. Just, this is what I usually do when I'm planning on doing like a massive build, but I still want to play in survival. This mode is really good for that because you can change like see creative, creative plus, adventure, survival. And of course, creative. So yeah, I really like that you're able to switch game modes in game now. It's a very helpful feature. Because I don't like making two worlds for survival and creative. So in this case, if I'm recording a series and there's some major work I want to do, I can always switch creative. So yeah, that's always cool. All right, so give you an idea of um, oops, what this pack involves. I'm just going to do a bit of work here, sort of set up a little farm and all the survi what, survival stuff. And yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy my ideas. There's a ton of blocks that you can build with. I usually use this overlay here because it's way better than looking through the, the mods like this. Culture and all that, I just load up everything. And I can just scroll down and see all the items. I'll just do a quick scroll just for you to see. We've got a lot of BC Transport, Forge Microblog, stuff like that. 
there's a lot of blocks in this pack, including the good old carpenter's block, which I may actually use um, on outside structures, because yeah, they always look pretty good. Whereas inside a base, I usually just use generic blocks like stone and stuff. But outside, we can make some fancy, fancy stuff. All right, so. chatter a little bit and get a bit more work done. So hang tight. Let's make some stuff. So I'm trying to get a roof here. Um, I feel like that is a little bit too low. Might raise, raise the roof. Raise the roof. You know what? I might actually use a custom block. A different block, I mean. A custom block. be really good if I was using the builder's wand. Uh, Alright, that's three. So let's extend it. One, two, three, four. There we go. Let's knock this out. And yeah, that looks pretty good. I'll just fill in the rest with dirt. I believe, actually, farm. There's also another farm block till. No. No, that's not it. Land? Farm land. Can't remember what it's called, but it's lush no, it's not lush grass. Farm no. Nah. Alright, never mind. We'll just get farmland. There we go. Oh, that's not gonna last. Um, let's go back here. Got some water. Oh, uh, whoops. Ah, I clicked it. That's not gonna work. All right, there we go. I'm just gonna expand my window a little bit. I loaded it up quite small. So let's just expand it like that. There we go. Good job. Should be. Hopefully you can see more on the screen now. And that music's a bit quiet. Let's turn that up a bit. Oop, that was close. One of my favorite things to do in this game is building farms. I like doing different farm designs and stuff like that, so... It's just what I love doing. Can I say, farming in Minecraft is always peaceful. Whoops, you know, easy. Let's get this started. You know what? I'm actually just going to do a 3x3. Three three. extend this out further, that's no problem at all. We can do it! We can make great things! Oh, um, okie dokie, that's gonna be a problem. There we go. Put all that in. So easy! Alright, let's make it 4x4 four four then. I'm actually not sure if the Builder Wand will actually work on farmland. I know it works on raw dirt. I should probably just try it, to be honest. Let's get rid of that. Wand. Let's get Super Builder's Wand. Alright. Oh, it does work. Alright, cool. How we do it? Bam. Let's just 
Yeah. It's probably time to sleep. Let's go and do that. So we're almost done here. Zombie. My good old katana has faster attack speed, but let's not back. So you gotta kill him quick. Strike fast. Boop. Boom! Just like that. Magic. Alright, so four, 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 and four. Sweet, we did it! Let's get rid of that. And what do we do here? I'll get rid of that. Ah, uh, crap. I don't want to wreck the dirt, so I'm going to do that. Bang. Too easy. Alright, now I want to put on this farm. Let's have a look. You know what I might do? Get a market. Pop it. Where can we put it? Should we put it here? Why not? So you can buy seeds from the market at uh, the cost of emeralds. Bone meal. Some of them cost a lot. You can spawn a horse. You know what? This would actually be really good on a um, super flat world. Check down a bit. Chicken. Cow. So, like, if you're stuck on an island um, and you don't have any animals spawning, well, if you get sheep, only sheep, the uh, fresh recipe, so you need wood and wool. Well, you can actually make wool from string. So, even if you don't have sheep, you could probably get one of these and then you just have to find emeralds. <laughs> so, eh, probably not that easy, but still. At least it's an option. I wonder if you can spawn on a um, extreme hills in like a hardcore island. Because there's usually just plains or forest where you spawn on. Let's have a look at these items. Spawn sheep, spawn pig. Spruce. Alright, so we got all the saplings, we got more food, jungle saplings. There's a lot there, basically. Most of them are Pam's Harvest Craft, obviously, because they're Pam's Harvest Craft is amazing. Full of food. Dragon fruit. I like it. Alright, anyway, enough of that. That's um Hey, if I'm in creative, can I actually Ah, oh, I still need emeralds. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright, where are the emeralds? Show me where the emeralds are, please. Where are the emeralds? Ah, boom. All right, so let's chuck them in, and we'll just buy like a few banana. What do I want? What do I want? Do you like dark oak saplings? Let's get four of those suckers. Grow them, get more of them. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Plum, pear, I want an apple. Oh, what was that? Cherry? No, not quite. Apple, there we go. That's what we need. Bam, sucker. Let's get three. Alright, keep going. Oh, melon seeds. Let's get four of those. Pumpkin seeds? Yep. I totally don't need to do this, I'm just doing it, because I'm trying to play in survival, but I can totally just grab it off here, but I won't do that this time. Anyway, um, I'm probably going to have to end the episode pretty soon, to be honest. I'll get just five of those, that's fine. And we've got weird seats, alright, let's go past those. Did I get... I didn't get any barley seeds. That's... Oh, cotton. Okay. The cotton seeds that I want are purple. 
where are you? Ginger? Alright, cool. There is a lot of seeds. Holy crap. Is there anything... Barley? I don't think so. I don't think I can get barley seeds. Oh well, let's get rid of those. So, no barley seeds. Let's go into survival. Yeah. Alright. So this will be, um, this is just the first video. I'll probably do about five episodes. This is basically just a preview demonstration on the current mod pack that I'm releasing. I've got, I'll be doing another set of episodes for my main mod pack, which is Hex Pack. So yeah, keep an eye out for them. It should be... I basically put out an episode a week on, on these types of videos. So yeah, just to give you an update on that. So I think we'll put the trees down here. Down under. Right, so chuck it in there, there we go. And we got the apple trees. Which I'll put down here. So I didn't really show you that much this episode, but that's alright. It was just basically to get in the game and see the world and yeah. And you can also and like I said, you'll be able to get this pack and try it yourself. If um, these videos aren't informative enough for you, you can discover things yourself. That's no problem at all. I actually encourage people to download this because it, it really is a fun pack. If you if you definitely like Hexed or Hex Reloaded, this pack is perfect. Just a slightly upgraded version of it. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, comments. Any, anything you want to say, anything you want to ask me, go right ahead and ask in the comments. If you are going to do videos on this pack, like I said, leave your channel in, in the comments below and I'll come check it out. Until next time, peace.